Hi Internet, I've just released a new version of the Kandu prototype, the cross-platform Pi menu I'm currently developing. And this new version contains a whole bunch of cool new features which I want to show you in this video. Most importantly, you can now for the first time actually assign actions to the individual menu items here. To demonstrate this, I have uh, set up this example menu here. And for instance, here I have some actions which open directories of my PC here. So this one opens my home directory. So with a short gesture like this, I can simply open that directory. And there are some more actions in here. For instance, down here I have some window management, window management stuff. So for instance, this action here will tile the active window to the right. And this one will tile it to the left and that one will close the window. So I can simply open windows and I can close them again. Then there are actions, for instance, for switching the virtual desktop. Or I have actions for multimedia control. Then I have some application, application launchers here on top, which do open some applications I have installed on my PC here. For instance, VS Code. Yeah, furthermore, I have some, some web links here. And, ah, yeah, and uh, one interesting thing, I can demonstrate this, I go here to VS Code, is the copy-paste menu here. I'm not sure how useful that actually is in practice, but it's cool to demonstrate the concept. So down here, I have three items, cut, copy, paste. So if I select something like this rounded <laughs> back here, I can cut this um, text. Now it's stored on my clipboard and I can paste it again. So there we go again. Yep, there hasn't been any progress regarding the menu editor. So if you want to create a menu like this, you will have to edit the menu configuration files by hand for now. But that's not too hard. And you can find them on Linux in your home directory. It's a file called menus.json in the can do directory. And on uh, Windows, it's uh, the same file format. It's there stored in the app data roaming directory. Yeah, you can simply edit this text file with your um, text editor. And whenever you save the changes, can do will automatically reload the file. Another new feature of the prototype is the support for the centered property here. So usually the menu is opened at the mouse pointer location, but if I set this to true, the menu will open at the screen's center instead. And this is especially useful for, for touch screens. But per default it is set to false and then it will open at your pointer location. So also the prototype now supports a new icon theme. So before all those icons in the menu were sourced from Google's material icons. So you can, for instance, head over um, to this web page here and there is a huge list of all the supported icons from, from Google. So for instance, if you like this token icon here, all you have to do is to use the token icon here and make sure that your icon theme is icon theme is set to material symbols and if i now save this menu configuration file and open the menu again we will have this token icon here at the center so but now we also support a new icon theme called simple icons and those simple icons you can also see them online they are mostly for for brands um but also for applications and for instance, if you like this MSI dragon here, um, you can just put in here MSI and make sure that the icon theme, icon theme is simple icons. And if I now save this file and open the menu again, you will have this MSI dragon here at the center. Okay, so let's undo this. Um, here we are back again at our star. Yeah, can do now also supports multiple menus. So in your menu confi configuration file, you can have a set of menus. So besides the demo menu I've shown you before, I have still my prototype menu, which is currently bound to, bound to control T. By the way, you can also see all of your menus 
up here at the status status icon. Um, so with Control T, I can open this old prototype menu here, and with Control Space, I can open the the menu I created by by hand. Another new feature is that I added the possibility to open menus via the command line. So for instance, if I start can do here via the command line, I can pass a menu parameter and this will open the menu with the given name at my current mouse pointer position. Yeah, and to open all those windows here, a new action has been added, which simply executes any given shell command. And to test this action, there's also a new example button here on the sidebar. So here in this field, you can type just any shell command which you want to execute. For instance, I can type in here gnome terminal. If I run this, Kandu will execute this shell command and yeah, the terminal will open. Yeah, that's it for now. So if you invest some time and create such a menu configuration by hand, can do now for the first time is actually a useful application and I'm using it on a daily basis now and it's already it's already plain fun and yeah if you want to get your hands dirty just download the prototype start hacking around uh, post issues on on github I'm really looking forward to your feedback and uh, to your input and yeah that being said thanks for watching and see you next time bye